Okay, it's been actually only like 30 minutes and I'm way beyond the goal. So boom, we have beaten this challenge again. And now it's time to go into Eternity Challenge 9. Um, I'm not sure how possible this is going to be. And I'm going to use Infinity Dimension Idle. Yeah, I'm just going to go Idle here. I cannot use 181. That is one thing. I can actually use everything before that, though, at least. Like, I can at least do this. And yeah, I just need to manually get the Infinity Points this way. And let's see if this is possible at all or wow we don't even have the galaxy points um yeah we need it's crazy <laughs> apparently I, yeah infinity ink does the galaxy points as well so i'm not even gonna go for replicanti at this point i need e2550 infinity points yeah that doesn't look very promising i'm at what is this yeah e1990 infinity points and even with 24 replicated galaxies like how much is this gonna actually do i mean it doesn't look promise <laughs> you, you can see i'm i mean i'll see how far i can get but look at this yeah <laughs> so you can see this is as far as i can get e2108 and even with like all those replicated galaxies and everything even if i do abuse the multiplier here. Even if I get that all the way up to E150 times, this is gonna get me like up to maybe E2300. Not enough to beat the challenge. So we are just gonna exit at this point. There's no point in trying to do more of this. I am gonna go back to um, Attorney Challenge 6 though, because that could actually be possible. Now that I've done a bunch of other completions. So, well, yeah, we just need to Eternity first. And we need to go active here. I think just Infinity Dimension is what we want. And I'll just get everything here. Wait for the Replicanti Galaxies. Re-enter the challenge. So, this, this is the one that I'm really not sure if I can do. Um, it's just right on the border of if, if it's actually possible or not um be just because well first of all it's active so you can't you know abuse time study 143 and um and like these completions they're pretty weak but they do something you can see e1272 right there and that that's actually doesn't look all that promising because look how high i can get to here 1282 yeah this is i'm just barely the problem is that 141 is decreasing as i'm you know getting everything so i just barely can't make it to where i want to it's very frustrating but i just have to deal with it it's just like i'm so close and at I mean, if this E1298 was just a little lower, it actually would be a lot closer to possible. I don't know. It's, I, this, is, this is just impossible, unfortunately. What I, what I guess I can do is I can... I could just try to grind infinity points now and see where I can, you know, get to at all um, with the completions that I do have. Like if I just go, you know, idle and infinity dimension like you just or actually i guess i can just go active um just to see you know where i can i can even get at all and maybe i can get like a new galaxy point record perhaps or something okay so you can see here i'm up to max ripple county galaxies and actually i did make some progress i can get e86 infinity points per minute i did get a new galaxy point record i can get the time theorems that has missing, even though it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, and I mean, I could, you know, just try to grind infinity points like this or eternity points like this. I'm also close to the next replicated galaxy here. I mean, this still doesn't look all that promising. Like, yes, I got some more time theorems and everything, but 
and yeah, time theorems and uh, yeah, I don't really think this is gonna change things all that much. Like I, I could you know try to um, if you use one twenty one, um, like if I just let's say if I just grind eternities here, maybe that gets one twenty one. No, it doesn't even do anything here. So, I mean, what I think what I'll do here is I'm going to switch to um, infinity dimension slash idle and then just try to do um, just one big run. I'm not really, oops, time dimension. I want to do infinity, infinity dimension, not time dimension. And maybe with this run, I, I did it again. Okay, like, maybe this run will be enough to at least get me a couple more orders of magnitude of eternity points. I also could, you know, just spend the first few minutes grinding a few infinities just to help, um, you know, I, I know that a bunch of things are based on infinity stats. Um, am I getting infinities? Oh yeah, it's, the problem is it's buying replicana galaxies, and if I get an unlucky point, I don't get a lot of infinities, but I don't even need to grind all that much. Like, I could theoretically grind to like a billion infinities, but I really don't, I think that even, uh, maybe I should grind to a billion actually, just to see if, I mean, we're already at 86 and like, <laughs> I you can see the replicated galaxies that I'm at. Yeah, not a lot. So maybe I don't even need to do this. I could just wait and see where I am by the time I get 70 replicated galaxies. That actually does make me think that it may possibly actually be possible to beat Eternity Challenge 6 third time by grinding a bunch of infinities. Like, I'm talking like hundreds of millions at least. Maybe even a billion. But I'm not going to do that yet. I, I think what I'll do is I'll just grind Eternity Points and then try to do um, eight second time, and then after that, I can go for six third time. Then I don't really have a path forward from there. Okay, we're back up to max replicated galaxies, and this is where we stand. Um, e three E87 eternity points. So, I mean, that's something, especially if I can, you know, grind that up. You know, that kind of sounds weird, but you know, just get as much, just like, you know, auto eternity when it gets to 3e87 and all that. And then, I mean, the problem is that the next quintupler of eternity points is at 2e89. So, that just doesn't really look promising. I mean, at least I'm getting somewhere, but I can't even get another time theorem. Actually, okay, now I can get one time theorem for getting enough antimatter. That's it. We got, like, maybe 25 orders of magnitude of galaxy points. That's it. We're just barely outside of the next replicated galaxy. But, I mean, I guess one we'll, I mean, I could try to get more attorney points, but I'm just gonna get this, um get this, I'm close to this, I'm tempted to get, you know, this, could even just do little, like, do it like this, if I want just quick eternity points, like, at least enough to get this, but I don't think it's worth it, um, I'm going to set up eternity challenge, eight, third time, for being away from my computer for 20 days, so, well, I think infinity dimensions is the way to go here. I have to go idle. That's definitely one thing. And can we start the challenge? Yep, it's this one. So here, we don't buy any infinity dimension thing. Attorney Challenge 7 reward basically does that for me. Now I want to get the chance to at least enough percent. I don't even want to get it to 9%. That's the crazy thing. Also, actually, I lied about the infinity dimension thing. I can do it. I can do, um, why do I only have five, oh, um, just need to get this, 
because I have 50 purchases of that. So I can just, you know, buy all of them here. It really isn't going to do much, but at least it's, it does something. And then, let's see. Um, what I'm going to do is start getting, you know, replicated galaxies. I know I, I'm gonna have, I can get at least 10 here. And at this rate, for 20 days, I can get up to, like, uh, yeah, I think what I'll do, like, this allows me to get, if the replicante works normally, I should be able to get almost 40 in 20 days. I mean, I'm just doing, you know, simple math here. I mean, like, 20 days, that is 480 hours. If it takes just 14 hours per replicated galaxy, that would be... I mean, 420 hours would be 30 replicated galaxies. So, I know I know I can go all the way up to 30. Actually, I reached another limitation. I just don't have the infinity points <laughs> to get higher than this amount of replicated galaxies. So, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that. Because that's not usually the limitation in Eternity Challenge 8. It's always just the purchases that you can make. Well... I guess I could just go up to 9% then, um, because, I mean, it's only just a few purchases, and what's, what's the goal again? I need E2600, so, yeah, I guess I'll just do that. I'll get up to 9% and then just save the rest, um, for <laughs> buying more of these, and then, hopefully, by the time I'm done with these 20 days, I will have beaten this challenge as well, which may get me somewhere. I mean, the reward looks pretty good. It's infinity power powers up replicanti galaxies by like 7%. And I mean, if that is good, I mean, if that, if that gets me another 7% in galaxies like that, that would be equivalent to about, if I have 70 replicated galaxies, it's about 5 additional replicated galaxies. Actually, that's weak. <laughs> uh, I thought it would be stronger than that. 5 galaxies is really not going to do much. Um, but yeah, we're just going to spend the rest on more replicated galaxies here. And, I mean, hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to beat the challenge. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.